FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our CollegeSportingNews.com FCS Game of the Week preview as the Stephen F. Austin State Lumberjacks take on the Sam Houston State Bearcats in the Battle of the Piney Woods. So let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with Stephen F. Austin. I'm a big fan of the Lumberjacks receiving core as they can go four wide, spread the field, and in my opinion, all guys are capable of winning the individual matchups, and that's going to be key versus Sam Houston State. They're led by their senior talented wide receiver, Mike Brooks, but also keep an eye on sophomore Aaron Thomas as he's a guy that's a legit game breaker. The defense has been the Achilles heel for the Lumberjacks this season. They're giving up over 200 yards on the ground at five yards a carry, and in order to have success versus the potent ground game of Sam Houston State, they're going to have to sell out versus the run and trust their cornerbacks to hold their own back there in the secondary. Now let's move over to Sam Houston State in this ball game and the Bearcats bounced back well with the dominating performance over Northwestern State and he did it with balance. I came away very impressed with the performance of quarterback Brian Bell who was only 9 of 16 but threw three touchdowns. Now defensively, the Lumberjacks posed the same threat as McNeese State did two weeks ago. They can really air it out while keeping the quarterback well protected in the pocket. The task will be to take advantage of the odd downs, first and third downs. If they can win on those two, then they can have some success versus to Stephen F. Austin. There are two obvious X factors in this ball game for both teams. For Stephen F. Austin, it's the defensive front seven. They're going to have to hold their own versus a very potent ground game of the Bearcats that can run downhill but also loves to attack the perimeter. And for Sam Houston State, it's the secondary. We know Stephen F. Austin's passing game is potent. They do a great job not only in the Southland Conference but throughout the FCS and airing it out and forcing you to cover every quadrant of the field. So this secondary of the Bearcats definitely have to bring their A game. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For Stephen F. Austin, the offensive line has to continue to dominate. This is a team that throws the football 75% of the time, and they have only given up four sacks. That's highly impressive. And on defense, I will go with one extra safety and one less linebacker to be in better position to play the perimeter running game of Sam Houston State. And on offense, again, I will go with the ball control passing. I will try to chew up the T.O.P. with my own passing game to keep that offense of Sam Houston State off the field. And for the Bearcats in this ballgame, you want to test that run defense of Stephen F. Austin early and often. We talked about this before, 200 yards a game, 5 yards a clip. If I'm Timothy Flanders or Richard Sincere or Brian Bell, I'm licking my chops to run against his defense. And they have to play winning special teams. You want to put a team like this away early, so that way you don't have to worry about this in the fourth quarter. So you have to win on special teams. You win two out of the three aspects of a football game, you're going to win more games than you lose and you will have to stay active in the secondary as talented as quarterback brady attaway is he trusts his arm a little bit too much so he will have some opportunities to make plays on the ball it's up to that secondary to capitalize now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game for the bearcats you look at the top four prospects in my opinion i know one guy that is off this list is a very good player and gary lawrence he's out with injury but when you look at timothy flanders you're looking at one of the best running backs in the country as well as bookie sneed one of the best cornerbacks in the country now for stephen f austin andrew ratliff and ryan chambers are two outstanding bookends that's the real reason why they have only given up four sacks on the season because both guys in my opinion can really play some football Larry Sinners was an outstanding player for the Lumberjacks from 1986 to 1989. He started his college career as a wide receiver. He broke his thumb, then moved down to running back, and all he did was become a two-time All-Southland Conference performer. And as a senior, he broke the school's single-season rushing record by going over 1,400 yards. And although Timothy Flanders right now is the all-time leading rusher in Bearcat history, he had to pass Charles Harris, who ran for over 2,600 yards and 26 touchdowns throughout the course of his Bearcat career, which spanned from 1991 to 1994. I like Sam Houston State in this ballgame. I think defense will prevail, and they'll do a great job of slowing down the offense of Stephen F. Austin, but I look at what they can do on the ground. I think that's going to be the biggest catalyst to their success. I think they will run the football against Stephen F. Austin and on defense be able to get these guys off the field. So I do like the Bearcats to win the battle of the Piney Woods.